that planet is. Do you see that? That's a planet in the sky. That's our sun. It hasn't eclipsed our sun yet, but it... CERN is manifesting hell on Earth with their darkest finding yet. As we've covered previously, CERN is doing very, very strange magical science. Up until recently, scientists were in the dark regarding the composition of antimatter, but now researchers at CERN have shined a light on it. This article is by Emily, and of course, she is for the Christian truther. And of course, the Daily Mail just happened to pick this one up. And we'll go over that in just a minute, because they've misinterpreted uh, some of the things that are on this report. Today's alpha result is the first observation of a spectral line in an antihydrogen atom allowing the light spectrum of matter and antimatter to be compared for the first time. Within experimental limits, the result shows no difference compared to the equivalent spectral line in hydrogen. This is consistent with the standard model of particle physics. The theory that best describes particles and the forces at work between them, which predicts that hydrogen and antihydrogen should have identical spectroscopic characteristics. Alpha is a unique experiment at CERN's anti-proton decelerator facility, able to produce anti-hydrogen atoms and hold them in a specially designed magnetic trap, manipulating anti-atoms a few at a time. Trapping anti-hydrogen atoms allows them to be studied using lasers or other radiation sources. Moving and trapping anti-protons or positrons is easy because they are charged particles, said Hanks. But when you combine the two, you get a neutral antihydrogen, which is far more difficult to trap. So we have designed a very special magnetic trap that relies on the fact that hydrogen is a little bit magnetic. We have exposed, Emily and myself have exposed, how according to Manley P. Hall, Master Mason, and Luciferian Initiate, the use of magnetism in magic traces back to magnetic conjury in Egypt. The description of the Alpha experiment states that the anti-hydrogen atoms are able to be magnetically trapped. Antimatter is the opposite of matter. It isn't physical, it's spiritual. And it's all around us. It's also quite elusive and chaotic, as the machines are able to trap and contain chaotic antimatter. They are able to study it, bringing them one step closer to manifesting it physically. What scientists are most excited about regarding this finding is that it reinforces their view of supersymmetry. When stated, very simply, supersymmetry is the same belief many occultists have, as above, so below. For those of you who do not know what that means, we'll go over that in just a second. But for those of you who do, you ought to have caught on by now what this actually, what is going on. They believe there is a balance in nature, and that every particle has an opposite, hence hydrogen and anti-hydrogen. As above, so below, has been misinterpreted by the mystics that put faith in it. They see themselves as God on earth and think that their actions are replicated by a God in heaven. We must remember who their God is to fully understand the statement. They follow the Antichrist by worshiping Satan or Lucifer. In a Christian context, below would be hell, the realm of the damned, and the earth would be the above. They are manifesting the bottomless pit on our planet, not replicating heaven. It should be correctly stated, hell on earth. Now, to gather what that entire statement really means. I don't know if you, you understand what that means or, or not, so I'm going to try and explain it to you. They're trying to bring hell here. Heaven is not on this planet. No. Sorry. However, the Daily Mail has interpreted it as such. A Christ, and now a Christian truth publication has called CERN the Antichrist for performing these experiments. Conspiracy theorists claim CERN has unleashed hell on earth in its latest antimatter experiment. Earlier this week, scientists at CERN announced they had used a laser to tickle atoms of antimatter and make them shine. This discovery marked a key step toward answering one of the great riddles of the universe. Now a group of religious conspiracy theorists is claiming the research organization has manifested hell on earth. That's correct. Not exactly to the extent that it's already happened. It's happening. It's still going on. It's not like it's done. It's over. I mean, Jesus has, has not returned. The Bible is not complete. We are still in it. So when they say manifested, they're trying to say it's null and void. We've progressed past your little nonsense. Christians go sit in the corner. And we're saying no. We're going to speak a little bit louder, a little bit more blunt. Let's continue. 
Theory predicts the Big Bang produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Since they cancel each other out, scientists have been trying to find out why a relatively small amount of matter remained, allowing the stars, planets, and ultimately life as we know it to come about, and antimatter vanished. It took researchers at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, decades to figure out how to create an antimatter version of the most basic atom, hydrogen, and trap it for long enough to perform tests. In a paper published online on Monday by the journal Nature, the team reported the first cautious result from an experiment with anti-hydrogen. But this has been met with contention from certain religious groups, including Christian Truther. In an article containing many scientific inaccuracies, well, I'd like to see exactly what scientific accuracies the Daily Mail has on here, because if you can look on the, the sidebar here, it's just a freaking, uh, what is it, tabloid, that's right, because it's just porn on the, on the right side there, Daily Mail, including Christian Truther. In an article containing many scientific inaccuracies, Christian Truther claims CERN is creating hell on earth by performing these groundbreaking experiments. Antimatter is the opposite of matter. It isn't physical, it's spiritual, writes Emily. Antimatter can be described as the opposite of matter, but not in the sense that it is not physical. Oh. Normal atoms are made up of positively charged nuclei orbited by negatively charged electrons. However, their antimatter counterparts are the other way around. Emily then goes on to say, CERN is building the kingdom of the Antichrist, hell on earth. She uses little in the way of scientific explanation to back up this claim. The very point behind science is to disprove faith. It's to disprove the Bible. That's the origin of it. It's a constant battle between science theory or biblical fact. See, the, the Bible is an account of historical events. Things that have already happened and actually taken place. Science is theories compiled on top of theories pounded into our head to try and make us believe it. That's not a lie. It's not made up. That's not fake news. That's the truth. That's actually what it is. Oh, but we took our little machines and we calculated some numbers and here you go. So, uh, teach this to the children. Teach it all to them. And don't ever teach the word or the gospel in schools anymore. Because that's what's going on right now. You know, here, here's a little bit of evidence to back up the claim. And this is an article by RT, not by us. Ten curious, or excuse me, ten mind-blowing facts about the CERN Large Hadron Collider you need to know. CERN is the world's biggest machine, number number ten. Number nine has a massive gravitational pull. All of this is, is we could go into depth of it, but there's one in particular that I want to go into. Number nine, or excuse me, number eight, CERN generates extreme temperatures, but Stephen Hawking is worried. Um, number six, opening the door to other dimensions. One year after CERN's grand opening, Sergio, former director for research and scientific computing of the facility, grabbed headlines when he told a British tabloid the super collider would, could, open other worldly doors to another dimension for any time, for a very tiny time, a lapse of time, more mere fractions of a second. However, that may be just enough to peer into this open door, either by getting something out of it or sending something into it. Now, what in the hell does that mean? Number five, CERN's curious choice of geographic location. Now, on top of all the speculation as to what CERN scientists are really attempting to do with their Large Hadron Collider, many observers could not help but notice that the town in France where CERN is part partially situated is called saint Genus Pauli. The name Pauli comes from the Latin Apollicum. And it is believed that in Roman times, a temple existed in honor of Apollo. Somebody please explain to me who Apollo is. because I, I know, but I'm just saying, who, who is that? You see, it's not a coincidence anymore. There are so many different things that line up with scripture that line up that this place is building or helped to building the, the, uh, the kingdom of the Antichrist. It's kind of funny that it's just, of course, well... You know, just, just shut up and sit down, Christians, because nobody wants to hear you. We've progressed past your time. That's why they're saying it's had. It's all past tense. No, no, no. That is incorrect. God is the same today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Now, let's go back to this here. 
as above, so below, has been misinterpreted by the mystics. Of course, we've already read this, but I'm reading it again. That put faith in it. They see themselves as God on earth and think that their actions are replicated by a God in heaven. We must remember who their God is to fully understand the statement. They follow the Antichrist by worshiping Satan or Lucifer. In a Christian context, below would be hell, the realm of the damned, and earth would be the above. They are manifesting the bottomless pit on our planet, not replicating heaven. Get that through your head. It should be correctly stated, hell on earth. The antimatter discovery, proving supersymmetry, can be understood using the same explanation. Antimatter would be a demonically charged particle retrieved from the pit, bringing with it chaos and destruction. CERN has coded it in such a way to make it sound positive, when in fact supersymmetry is inobtainable. Humans are not gods. Thus, we could never produce heaven on earth. CERN is building the kingdom of the Antichrist, hell on earth. I hope that makes I hope that makes sense to a lot of people. Because a lot of uh, Satan's biggest lie is that humans can be godlike or uh, humans could be god, put it that way. One of Satan's biggest lies. I want to put it that way. I don't want to say definitively that's the only that's the biggest lie, but there's that's one of the biggest. Let's put it that way. Now let's go back here. She uses little bit, little in the way of scientific explanation to back up this claim. Instead, she relies on a bizarre theory comparing antimatter to hell and matter to heaven. Uh, no, to a demonically charged particle, not to hell itself. Uh, antimatter would be a demonically charged particle retrieved from the pit, bringing it with it chaos and destruction, she says. It appears the same author has a track record of writing scaremongering articles regarding the research facility. Scaremongering articles. Really? Because I'm pretty sure that there are physicists who are concerned, who have actually sued the, the facility. So it is very reasonable to be concerned about CERN. It's not scaremongering when you're trying to expose someone. I, I, don't, I don't get fear off of this article. I don't know how you get fear off of this. The only reason you get fear if you're uh, not exactly right with God The scientific explanation for antimatter does not involve a pit of hell. Instead, oh, here we go. Let's let science talk. Let's let science have its day. In the, in the recent study, the researchers found when it is simulated with a laser, anti-hydrogen appears to produce light on the same ultraviolet frequency as its nemesis in the world of matter. Hydrogen as its nemesis. Okay. All right. Adding energy. In this case with, case with a laser. And See, I'm getting too frustrated. You think? Continuing on, since antimatter is spiritual, it would be difficult to trap and study, but now that they have found it on the light spectrum, they can more quickly determine its composition. The hidden spiritual side is becoming visible, visible, excuse me, revealing the demonic realm on earth more than ever before. CERN is shut down for its annual winter break, but just because the machine is shut down doesn't mean they aren't working. Scientists are analyzing the tons of data they collected this year and upgrading their machines for a bigger 2017 startup. The measurement of antimatter on the optical spectrum was one of CERN's most significant findings in 2016. Get ready for a chaotic 2017 as they use what they found to manipulate our world. Now, let me just say something really quickly here, because this is pretty interesting. Not too long ago, we reported on this. I, I made this article uh, quite a while ago. Brain zapping. Willful participants subject themselves to mind control. Brain stimulants cause removal of faith. And do you know what they're using in this article here? They're using magnets pumped into the brain to literally alter the belief, or the belief system of people. Now... This gigantic magnet, the world's largest machine, where did it get that? Number 10. Ah, there it is. World's biggest machine is, is basically like a massive, a 27 kilometer magnet. And it's spinning and pumping all day long. What kind of effect do you think that has on people? Oh, there's none. You're just a crazy conspiracy theorist. Yeah, right. Because this little tiny magnet strapped to the brain, as you can see here, this, this person in the background here. That can alter his belief in not only uh, immigration, but God. Now, of course, to the real Christians, to the real brethren, that's not going to happen. But you get my point. There's something going on with this. Now, as to as to Daily Mail's attack on us, it's kind of interesting because 
most of the time, Daily Mail doesn't use personal names. They use the name of the website. But in this particular one, they're attacking Emily directly without actually uh, giving a person to respond to or even being asked for comment. That's kind of funny. So they're just going to take their own bias and opinion and, and put it against ours. Well, you know, I got one thing to say uh, to the Daily Mail directly. When you get done chasing the demon of Kim Kardashian around, we'll still be here for question or comment and covering the things that actually matter. You want to find more information? Go to ChristianTruther.com. God bless and carry on.